hello everyone and welcome back to another adobe illustrator tutorial so today we are going to create this kind of text effect in adobe illustrator so first let's remove everything from the artboard and i'll select my background layer to create a background let's fill this rectangle with this color I need one more rectangle and I'll fill this with polka dots. Let's center these polka dots. If you don't know uh, where you can find these polka dots, go to Windows, Swatch Libraries, and then Patterns, Basic Graphics, and Basic Graphics Dot and here you will find all these dots patterns okay let's select these polka dots and let's change the blend mode of these color dots after that select this rectangle and draw a rectangle like this let's fill this with black and then select the pen tool and create a point almost like there let's remove these two points to create this kind of shape after that go to effect distort and transform and transform now click on this point and then change the angle to 15 and increase the copies okay after that click ok now go to object click on expand appearance after that ungroup all these and right click on these shapes and make compound part okay after that let's center these shapes and then go to effect blur and Gaussian blur let's increase the blur to 10 then click OK now fill a gradient radial gradient like this and then let's increase the size then go to opacity and change the blend mode to color dodge here let's decrease the opacity to 70% we need another rectangle let's center this or select these all, all these shapes and then this rectangle right click on it and make clipping mask we need another rectangle then click OK let's center this now we'll fill with gradient and let's change the color like this okay now change the opacity to overlay here we go here is our background now let's lock the background layer and let's start creating our text effect select our text tool The font I'm using for this text effect is Remora Camellia Sans and the font size I'm using is 235 point. Let's center this to the artboard. After that we'll go and click on this none to remove the fill color. Then we'll go to appearance panel and click on this add new fill icon. Let's change the color of this layer to this one. Now duplicate this layer and now change the color of this layer apply a default black and white gradient change the angle to minus 90 and change colors like this change the opacity of this yellowish point to 50 percent now we'll go back again to appearance panel 
here I will go to effect path and offset path apply a minus 7 pixel offset path then click ok keep selecting this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 3 pixel gaussian blur on this layer then click ok now duplicate this layer and select this layer and move this layer to top now keep selecting this layer and change the color of this layer to these polka dots after that click on this arrow and then click on opacity change the blend mode to color dodge now change the opacity of this layer to 50 percent after that select this layer and duplicate this now select this bottom layer and change the color of this layer to this one then go to effect path and offset path apply a 13 pixel offset path then click ok again select this layer duplicate this now change the color of this layer to this one we'll use this layer for drop shadow now go to effect path and offset path apply a minus 2 pixel offset path then click ok again select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 3 pixel gaussian blur then click ok now keep selecting this layer to effect distort and transform and transform apply a 3 pixel vertical value and then click ok now select this green layer and then go to effect 3d and extrude and bevel here apply values like this after that change the extrude depth to 100 point and change the surface to diffuse shading click on more option here adjust this point to adjust the lighting click on this plus icon to add one more light point and adjust the lights like this okay after that if you want to increase the blend steps you can increase if you want to add a custom shading you can do it I'll keep this as it is and then I'll click OK now select this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform let's move this layer vertically like this now click OK then select keep selecting this layer and duplicate this now select this second green layer and change the color of this layer to white now click on this arrow then click on offset path and let's increase offset path up to 30 pixel then click ok after that click on transform and let's move this white layer to around 15 pixel and then click ok now select this green layer and go to effect stylize and drop shadow let's change the values like this then click ok select this white layer go to effect stylize drop shadow and adjust the drop shadow as you want then click ok I think let's increase the spacing between words here now click on this type then go to effect and warp and apply a by a 14% arc then click ok so 
here is our final test effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching